Hey, what's up? Um, man, what was I gonna say? Come on, done with you. You wanna know how my dick got in a fan, don't you? I'll listen. <clears throat> so again, we're in a band. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I feel like that's how it starts with you. And, uh... God, it looks creepy right now. We're sitting around, and our drummer, Kane, he's looking up videos of other bands. He And we're sitting there, we're just talking and shit, and we're all over at James's house practicing. James, goofy ass dude. Monotone, big, our bassist, and uh, a couple funny stories about him real fast. <laughs> well, one time, everyone was downstairs. <laughs> Bullshit! Why are you touching the controller? One time everyone was downstairs, and me and him were at the top of the stairs, and he was yelling oh. down at all of them downstairs. The dinner was done. Yeah. And, uh, mid-sentence, he's just... <gasps> sneezing. About to sneeze. Holding the door open. Sneezes, headbutts right into the side of the door. <laughs> Almost knocks himself out. <laughs> he's just like, dinner's... <gasps> I think I have a scar on my fort, like, right on my eyebrow somewhere. I don't know if you can see it, but, like, right about here somewhere. Do you see, like, a little scar? Yeah, I see it. Yeah, I ran into a door. Oh, I'm so Sorry. proud of you. Not not even a door. Um, a corner, like right, like right here. <laughs> um, I was home alone and I was just like walking to my bedroom. And I thought there was something outside, so I looked over there and just ran into the corner of a wall. Oh my god, dude! What the fuck? Oh, uh, dude, I'm an alcoholic. Clearly. Talk about that time I got pulled over for drunk driving, right? Yeah. <laughs> Never had a drop of alcohol in my life. Still got pulled over for drunk driving. <laughs> you were swerving. I was swerving aggressively. <laughs> were the words that the cop used. Didn't he make you like do the alphabet test and everything? No, um... I, uh, I was driving to Oklahoma. I basically got off work. And, uh... Left straight from work at like midnight to go to Oklahoma. Which is like a four, four and a half hour drive away. Yeah. And I was going to see my... my ants and all that and like three three and a half hours in the drive um oh shit um three three and a half hours in the drive i get behind a semi and it's tired and there's like long stretches of road and i'm wondering if i can like pass in my shitty Stop. vehicle i wonder if i pass a semi in my shitty vehicle and This is going to be impossible. Yep, you're done. Yep, done. Okay, cool. What was that? Did I you see don't know. That? Yeah, that flare? Yeah. Can I just restart? And if you use the... If you use the mouse... <laughs> it just... Yep. Try... I can hear that fucking... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to pass my shitty vehicle. So, I go... I try to go around the semi, and the semi is swerving aggressively as well. Um, and I'm pretty sure he's the one who fucking called the cops on me. The <laughs> semi? Yeah. The semi that is swerving? Yeah, because I, I eventually got around him, but I was, you know, trying to get around him, because he was fucking, you know, aggressively swerving. Right. So I was like, I ain't being around this fucking alcoholic. So I went ahead, and I got pulled over a couple miles down the road. For drunk driving. Yeah, I got called specifically, and it wasn't like... I got a hold specifically like that vehicle, uh, that, sh she's, she's there. Look around for her. Oh, fuck, you're, you're just fucking dead. Why is the game, like, fucking me? <laughs> yeah, so I got pulled over, and, uh, the cop's like, yeah, the reason I pulled you over was because, uh, you were swerving aggressively, and I'm like, was I? He's like, yeah, got on the dash cam and everything. Um, you been drinking tonight? And I'm like, not a drop in my life. You want any prescription, uh, drugs? Not to my knowledge. <laughs> uh, he's like, license and everything. And I'm like, yeah, sure. Hand him my license. And I'm like, I'll get out and walk straight line for you right now. Like, oh, I didn't even have my insurance. I didn't know where the insurance card was for the vehicle. And he was just like, fuck it. Just give me your ID. Um, and, yeah. I'm just like, I'll get out and walk straight line for you right now. And he's like, uh, get somewhere. Bullshit. Yeah, I was in the other room, totally. I like how he doesn't even, like, kill me. He just scares me. <laughs> yeah, okay. 
Yeah, so he's he's just like, well, you know, I, I got a breathalyzer thing if you want to blow into it. Like, uh, oh, yeah, blow it, baby. Yeah. Blum. It's totally Blum. optional. You don't Blum. have to. And I'm like, nah, bring it here, bitch. And he's just like, <laughs> nah, bring it here, bitch. Get over here, cop ass. And he's just like, it's totally optional. You don't have to. And I'm like, bring it. Bring it. And he, he uh, ran my stuff, and he came back, and he's like, nah, I'm not going to detain you any longer. I believe that you're, uh, you're, everything's correct, blah, blah, blah. But I thought it was really funny. I got pulled over for fucking drunk driving. Um, never had alcohol. My stories are perhaps a little lackluster at the moment. Once again, up for a long time. <laughs> oh, you bitch. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, yeah. Stories with James. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, second story with him. Before I get to the dick in the fan thing. Got it. Um, he was talking to our guitarist, Aiden. Yeah, yeah, I remember him. Yeah, Aiden. Guy who's in jail. Yeah. Um. <sighs> you were just having a bad time. Oh, jeez. Jesus Christ. But, uh... So... Uh, fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so finish the story, and then we'll we'll do the the dick in a fan on climactic the next one. dick dick in the fan. Oh my god, the dick in the fan. Okay, so he's talking to Aiden, and Aiden's just like, "Oh yeah, man, we should go do something. You know, could go do something great." And James just like, "Yeah, man, two all over Aiden's face. <laughs> <laughs> Most pissed off look I've ever seen Aiden have. Uh, I, I could probably like kill time." For you to do this before you die. One more story about the band. Was that the story? Yeah, that was it. Oh. One more thing oh. about uh, <laughs> the cop. I thought this last bit was funny. Not the greatest thing to end on, but whatever. Uh, he's like, where are you going tonight? And I'm like, uh, going to go visit my aunt? Oh, shit. <laughs> All right, good thing. So <laughs> he's like, where are, you gonna go where are you going? I'm like, I'm going to visit my aunt. He's like, uh, where's that at? Oklahoma? He's like, you're in Oklahoma. <laughs> I'm like, oh, uh, load up my GPS. Uh, fuck, phone died. All right. <laughs> oh, well, uh, somewhere in Oklahoma she is. <laughs> somewhere in Oklahoma, and if you wait five minutes for my phone to load up, then we can tell you. <laughs> all right. We are now proceeding with the grand finale of... My dick in a fan! Oh, everyone's going to be so disappointed in this story. Like, really? Is it not good? I... It, it, it's, it's good, but, like, I've, I've been, uh... Also, I realize that we are not making any progress. My apologies. I'm trying. Look, this is really hard. Go home, try it for yourselves. You are probably home if you're watching this. Try it for yourselves. Even if you're not home, you're near internet access. Try it for yourselves. Five dollars on Steam. Um, oh, shit. Uh, um, uh, um... Got it. Cool. Oh, God. oh we're, we're dead. Okay. No, you're good. Ha, ha, ha. You're good. Ha, ha. Cool. Is she here? I'm assuming. I'm assuming now. Anyway. So. Dick and a fan. Underwhelming. It's a little underwhelming, mostly because like. You fucking cock tease. I've been providing like I guess like I should say false information. My dick never actually touched the fan. Ah. Oh, you cock tease. Uh, I know, I'm sorry. Anyway, so my buddy Kane's sitting there looking up uh, videos of other bands doing shit, and then he's like, he's like, he's like, Nathan, come here, check this out. But, you know, in his, like, voice, he was like, Nathan, dude, come here, check this out. Yeah, in his voice that I know of this guy, I've never met. You met him. He's the who guy he? who likes, uh, who likes the, dude, oh. these things are fucking awesome, the Butterfinger oh, Cups. yeah, fuck that guy. Um, the guy who tried to come in with that fucking whiz shit to my store? Yeah. F yeah, fuck that guy. Whatever. Anyway. Whatever. That guy. Yeah, the druggie now. Is he now? Is that a new development? Uh, I don't remember him being a druggie when I was in a band with him. But, uh, anyway, he's looking up videos and he's like, Oh, dude, Nathan, check this out. Come here, look at this. And I come in there, I, I walk over there, and I'm like, watching the video with him, and this, this dude puts his dick in a metal fan, and, like, falls on the floor crying. Oh. Like, hard crying. <laughs> And he's like, we should do that. Yeah, we you know? should just do that. He's like, dude, we should do that. We have a fan, we have dicks. Come on, let's just do it. And I was like, what are you talking about? He's clearly crying. He's like, no. He's just laughing. So hard he fell over. And I'm <laughs> like, 
Put no. your dick in a fan. I was like, no, no, he's totally, he's totally crying. He's like, dude, no balls. I'm like, dude, I'm gonna have no balls if I put my dick in this fan. He's like, it's plastic blades. You're fine. And our bassist, our, uh, I guess I shouldn't say our bassist because we had kicked him out of the band. Our old bassist, not James, new guy, old guy, old guy. James was new guy. Anyway, Clint. <laughs> now I'm gonna drop names. Clint was like, "I'll do it." And, you know, he puts his dick in the fan, and he stopped the fan. <laughs> Terrifying. Like, really, it was. You're so dead. How am I dead? You have three seconds. Oh, shit. <laughs> anyway, Clint stops the fan. <laughs> Whoosh! Oh, I was pregnant. And then it gets to me. You know, I've got my dick in hand. Everyone's sitting around waiting for me to put my... Is your fucking band just excuse for homoerotic activities? <laughs> anyway... <laughs> Dick moving, in on. Hand. moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Moving on. My dick's in my hand. I'm about to put my dick in this fan. Laying it out rap style so that way the youth at home can appreciate what I'm throwing down from the underground. I um, don't even know what you're saying anymore. <laughs> so, my dick's in my hand. My pants are on my ankle. I I'm really going to do this. I'm sitting there. I'm staring at this fan. And I'm like, man, what have I become? You know, like. Not a druggie or anything. Like, the most I'd done at this point was acid. But that was, like, forever ago. Which is another funny story. Um. Anyway. I'm sitting there, dick in hand, staring at this fan, contemplating every life decision I've ever made and the one that I'm about to make. Stop moving. And, you know, my pants are around my ankles. And, uh. James's mom walks in. All right. As I'm about to like put my dick in this fan, and she's just like, "Boys, dinner's done." Closes the door. <laughs> we have to sit at the table with her. I'm sitting next to her. We're not gonna make eye contact no, no. because she just saw me with my dick in my hands, about to put it in a fan. So I'm sure you know that. Fairly, fairly awkward. Yeah. To have like. Say you're hanging out with me, and then my mom walks in as you're about to put your dick in a fan. Yeah, no, that's happened. It has not. No, it hasn't happened. That'd be pretty weird, right? Yeah, it'd be unusual. Uh, you just wanted to hear about me putting my dick in a fan. Yeah. But I didn't end up putting my dick in a fan. You so did. now the story's just, like, less appealing for you. <laughs> you did or did not? Oh, shit. I didn't. Down here. What the? The screen was shaking fuck? like the analog oh. was messing up. I wouldn't have made it anyway. It's fine. I've got a story about acid. Sure, do your story about acid. We got time. I, 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 I G, I, O S G Productions. All right. We don't encourage drug use here at O S G Productions. We do not. Drugs are bad, but they can be funny in certain circumstances. Like, where I'm sure Nathan did something stupid on acid. Like, you can smoke weed. That's fine. No. All right. Nathan's totally against everything, including drinking. So you can be 21 listening to us, and he'll be like, I'm a 24-year-old crybaby who doesn't do alcoholic beverages. 23, fuck you. It makes you stupid. Why would you... Everyone says one of the worst problems with this generation is that children are young, youth are stupid. And why you have a juice that makes you stupid? That sentence should be prime illustration on Everything why you should... Everything with every generation is that they're stupid. No, a lot of it was uh, like what... polio and <laughs> ebonic plague and whatnot. And alcohol. And weed. Uh... And acid. Yeah, and it's all The stupid. past was worse on all of those things than we were. How so? Well, let's see. Um, acid was legal. Yeah, but everything was legal, like, at one point. And they were dropping acid every single day, just rotting their brain cells away. Yeah. Weed. I mean, like, that's literally not a big deal. Like, it's not. I don't like it, though. I, I like, know you don't. I don't like the smell, I don't like the way it makes and people I, act. I, I won't encourage it in, like, certain states just because it's illegal. So, there's that. 
you know, like, I don't Like, encourage... that's fine. It's literally your choice. Um, but, like, I don't like it. And I don't like being around... I don't like being around people who drink. I don't like people... Well, you know why I don't like being around people who drink. I don't, I don't really like smoke or whatever. It's fine. Pause. I know. I know, and, like, my dad and my, my grandma used to always tell stories about how they would drink and how they would do stupid shit. The girl laughed. You know, this and that. And they would tell stories about how their grandpas and their dads would drink and this and that and drop acid and do stupid shit. Anyway, my story about acid. Yeah. So I go to this rave, me and the band, okay. of course, and we're standing outside of this event center, which could potentially lead into another funny story, which I guess I could say for next time. Blah, blah, blah. We're standing outside of the door, and uh, this dude comes up, and he's like, dude, is the rave started yet? Oh, shit. Let's probably move. <laughs> yeah, okay. And it's like, no, bro, the rave hasn't started yet. He's like, well, do you guys want to come back to my van with me? So, you know. Move, bro. Let's get to work. Us being like 18. Or like, yeah, dude, let's totally go back to your van. No idea why we decided to do that, like, at all. Anyway, we get into his van. Turns out he's from, uh, Gangsters with Cap Guns, or Kids with Cap Guns, a, a local band or something. And they start smoking us up. You know, we're getting high, we blazing. And then they try and sell us acid. And everyone's like, oh, yeah, dude, I'll buy a hit. I'll buy a hit. And then he gets to me, and he's like, you want to buy one? I'm like, I'm broke. And he's like, oh, man, bummer. I'll sell it to you for five bucks. I'm like, dude, I'm seriously broke. He's like, oh, dude, that sucks. And they're like, well, this is like his first, uh, his first rave. You didn't wait. Good one. So he gives me a free hit of acid. I go in there, and I'm waiting around. First time doing acid. First time at a rave. Nothing's kicking in. Nothing's happening. About an hour and a half later... I'm sitting at this, like... She's gotta be in here, I'm fucked. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. I'm sitting at this, like, uh, spinny table. Really shiny, glittery-looking table. And I'm, like, messing with the table, wobbling it back and forth. And I start wobbling it and spinning it. And I'm spinning this fucking table. I'm spinning this table. It's going in a circle. And I'm like, whoa, dude, this is so cool. And I call over all of my friends, and all these people are standing around me because they're all high on acid and shit, <laughs> watching this table spin. We're all just sitting around watching this table spin. And it's like the coolest thing ever. Mm hmm Sounds like it. And then the manager comes up and he's like, you know that table doesn't spin, right? That is, that is, you are just jerking that table back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got like this group of people around me watching this happen. <laughs> Stop. And all of them were just like, oh man, what a bummer. Yeah, so that's my story about like funny acid trip. Pretty good. I liked it. Man in a van. <laughs> yeah, like... What am I doing? Um, I'm not... You do what you gotta do. I'm just not for it. But it's whatever. I understand how it is. No, you don't. What, what do you mean? What, with cigarettes or, like, with stress? With coping with stress through harmful... Quotations. Harmful... Quote I mean, unquote cancer causing cigarette. Oh shit! Oh! Oh shit! Oh, oh fucking shit! Run! We made run, it! Run! 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 Get the run, fuck run, out run, of this house! Get out now! Fuck this shit! I'm out! Oh! Did we just beat the game? We beat the game. Uh. Pizza delivery person claims that he was trapped and attacked by dogs and a young girl on his last delivery. The location was the same as the one involved in the current death of two locals. Police oh, investigated the house again, but everything appeared untouched since last month, and two bodies were found at the same residence. A box of dolls matching the delivery man's description was recovered. The police cannot determine if this is somehow connected to the mysterious deaths. The pizza delivery man is now under psychiatric evaluation while the investigation continues. Please stay tuned for the web. Oh, fuck you. That was so anticlimactic. <laughs> That's literally the description I saw on the Steam community. What, anticlimactic? Anticlimactic. So yeah, that seems to be the general consensus.
Well, alright, we beat the game. High five. Nice. Technically the first game we've beaten on OSG. Uh, this probably isn't going to be many episodes either. Um, I think it's several, actually. Nice. Yeah. But yeah, good fun. All right, we well, should come over here. Ah, gotta sign out real quick. Ah, son of a bitch. Yes, but we're signing off, and it's our first completed video game. Come over here and say goodbye to people. I'm Nathan. And I'm Nathan. Goodbye. Goodbye. God, I'm quitting this forever. We're never coming back to Emily Wants to Play. Never, ever, ever, ever. Probably. So done with this game, it almost gave me a heart attack. <laughs>